morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 Let's say a prayer. Father God, we thank you for your word, Lord. And as your word go forth, Master, we ask that you would open up hearts, Lord, so that they would be receptive to seeking your word and to say, what must I do to be saved? Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It's good to be in the house of prayer. Amen. 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 We're going to be coming from Acts chapter 16, reading verses 25 through 33. When you have it, would you stand for the reading of God's Word? Acts 16, verses 25 through 33. When you have it, would you say amen, please? Amen. amen. And about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the rest of the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly a great earthquake occurred, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken. Immediately all the doors flew open, and the chain of all the prisoners were loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the doors of the prison standing open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, because he thought that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul called out to him, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Calling for lights, the jailer rushed in and fell down trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas. Then he brought them outside and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Mm, yes. And they said, Believe in the Lord yes, Jesus yes, Christ yes. and you will be saved, yes. you and your household. Yes. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him along with all those who were in his house. Yes. At that hour of the night, he took them and washed their wounds. Then he and his family were baptized right away. Mm -hmm. The jailer brought them to his house. Mm -hmm. He set food before them to eat, mm -hmm. and he rejoiced greatly mm -hmm. that he had come to believe in God yeah. together with his entire household. Mm -hmm. That is the reading of the word of God. Amen. 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 And today I'd like to speak the question for every soul. Amen. The question for every soul. Amen. You know, there are many questions that are being asked in this world today. Nations are asking about the COVID-19. How long is it going to last? Mm -hmm. When can our children start back to school? Mm -hmm. Will they be safe when they go back to school? Mm -hmm. We're asking all kind of questions. Mm -hmm. We're even asking a question about who is going to be the next president of the United States in mm -hmm. November. Mm -hmm. Everyone is asking questions, it seems, except the most important Amen. question Come for on. every Come person on. in this world. Yes. And in our text, we will see that a hardened sinner, jailer, ask the most important question that has ever been uttered in the history of the world. Yes. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Yes. In this text, we will find that he could have asked other questions, mm -hmm. like how come these doors of the prison are open, or why didn't all the prisoners escape? Mm -hmm. Instead, he asked a question that gets to the heart of his problem mm -hmm. as an individual and to the heart of the problem of every person in the entire world. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Amen. The question is, what must I do to gain eternal life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beloved, today if you've not received salvation, mm -hmm. I'm asking you to search your heart this morning. Stop asking questions about the things that are happening in this world, Amen. the things that are happening to your flesh, Amen. and stop asking even Satan questions. Amen. Amen. And the important question is, am I saved? Yes. Am I saved? Yes. And if not, what must I do to be saved? Yeah. Now this passage not only poses the question, but it also provides the answer. Yes. First, let's take a look at the setting of the stage and the events that are about to take place. Now to begin with, Paul had a vision 
where a man of Macedonia stood and pled with him, saying, Come to Macedonia and help us. After this vision, Paul decided to go to Macedonia, concluding, thinking that the Lord had called him and Silas to preach the gospel to the people there. So Paul and Silas goes to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia, and on the Sabbath day, they went by the riverside for prayer. Mm -hmm. There were so few Jews in Philippi that there was no synagogue. So the Jews who were in Philippi met for prayer along the river banks every Sabbath. Mm -hmm. There Paul and Silas meets a woman named Lydia, mm -hmm. first convert. Mm -hmm. Lydia was a Gentile, but she was a worshiper of God. Amen. And she heard Paul's message of the gospel and she and her whole household were baptized and she asked Paul and Silas to stay at her house and verse 16 tell us that they went for prayer down by the riverside Amen. and a slave girl possessed with a demon mm -hmm. met them mm -hmm. this slave girl was a fortune teller demon possessed and she made a lot of money for her masters. Mm -hmm. And we see that masters here are plural, so that means that she had one more than one Amen. master. Amen. 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 She followed Paul and Silas around, mm -hmm. crying out, These men are servants of the Most High God who proclaims to us the way of salvation. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. She followed these men for many days, the Bible said. Finally, Paul has had enough. Mm -hmm. And he turns and says to the demon, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. come out of her. Yes. And at that very moment, the demon was cast out. Wow. Now let me stop right here and ask, is not this slave girl in prison? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. She was a slave girl? She was filled with a demonic spirit, Amen. Mm -hmm. and she was being exploited by her owners, yes. mm -hmm. whose own best interests were served by her, Amen. both physically Amen. and spiritually. Amen. Mm -hmm. She was enslaved, yes, she was. Mm -hmm. in prison. Now, she may not have physically been locked up in a jail cell, but she was a prisoner of Satan, a prisoner of her owners mm -hmm. and Paul's intentions might not have been the best because I'm sure he was annoyed by her following them around all the time and interrupting things mm -hmm. but we need to realize that the Lord God's intention for this girl who was imprisoned by enslavement by her masters mm -hmm. and by a demonic spirit. Yeah. We need to understand that no matter how upset Paul might have been mm -hmm. or how irritated he might have been with this girl, mm -hmm. the Lord used him to bring this girl a healing. Amen. Can I get Amen. a witness? Amen. Now we've all been through some prison experiences mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm times when the Lord has shut us up mm -hmm. in sickness Amen. for his own purpose. Amen. Times when we wonder, woe is me. Lord, why you let these things happen to me? Mm -hmm. Don't you see I'm suffering? Yes. We've all been in prison yes. experience. Yes. Yes. Lord, if you really love me, then you wouldn't let these things happen to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have the answers to your problems or your questions, uh -huh. but I found that no matter what my situation is, uh -huh. is whether it's good yeah. or whether it's bad, yes, I know that the joy yes. of the Lord yes. is yes. my strength. Yes. Yes. Now the Lord brought healing to this young girl, uh -huh. but it's going to stir up trouble for Paul and Silas yes. because the men that owned the girls were furious because they had just lost their source of profit. Yes, yes. So they take Paul and Silas before the authorities and tell them, these men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs yes. which are not lawful for us to receive, neither observe we being Romans. Mm -hmm. And the crowd rose up against Paul and Silas, and the authorities tore off Paul and Silas's clothes mm -hmm. and ordered them to be beaten. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
under the Jewish law, beaten with stripes would have been about 39 lashes. But being in this Roman territory, they were probably beaten half to death. And when the prison experience of life come, they do tend to beat us down yes, and yes. leave us in a bad situation. Yes. If you've not been there, just keep living. Yes, yes. I might ask the question, Lord, why? Why yes. do we have to suffer yes. sometimes? Why yes. are we in yes. prison life yes. experience? Yes. And the answer would simply be, why not? Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. As we pass through this life, we can expect our share of difficulty and trouble. Yes. Mm -hmm. We tend to forget that the trials of our life are sometimes methods for developing us into the image of God's yes. beloved yes. Son. Yes. After Paul and Silas were beaten, they were cast in prison. The word cast means to throw something in to the prison mm -hmm. with regards of how it lands. Amen. So they just threw them yes. into prison. Mm -hmm. And the jailer was told to keep them secure. Mm -hmm. In other words, you better not let them escape. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the jailer puts them in the inner prison, mm -hmm. which is throwing, throwing them in the dungeon, right. where it would have been dark, yes. dirty, and discouraging. Yes. Beloved, there are many times in life when the Lord shuts us up in some prison experience. Yes. And when it does happen, it's never pleasant. Yes. During those times in our life experiences of being in a prison, mm -hmm. it may seem that the Lord has tossed us aside without any regards for our well-being. Mm -hmm. But such is not the case, my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. If you belong to God, yes. He's working out yes. His perfect plan yes. for your life. Yes. You may be in that prison because God loves you and He has something special for your life. Yes. At Paul and Silas, these men were in a bad place. Yes. They were shut up in a dirty, dark dungeon. Yes. Amen? Amen? They had been thrown in this jail when they really hadn't done anything except preach the gospel. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Proclaiming the name of Jesus. Yes. That's all they were doing. Yes. They had done a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. Paul, through the Holy Spirit, had set a prison-bound woman free yes. of a demon. And then he was, him and Silas was drugged or dragged, yes. thrown in jail. Yes. That was their reward. Yes. But they didn't gripe. Mm -hmm. They didn't even whine. Mm -hmm. They didn't complain. Mm -hmm. They didn't blame God for their circumstances. But these men of God made the best out of a bad situation. Amen. And the Bible says, at midnight, at midnight, yeah. Paul and Silas were praying yeah. and singing hymns to God. Yeah. Yeah. And the prisoners, the Bible lets us know, uh -huh. were listening to them. Yeah. Yeah. Suddenly there's a great earthquake yeah. so that the foundation of the prison was shaken mm -hmm. and immediately all the doors of the prison were opened and everybody's chains mm -hmm. fell off. And the jailer of the prison awoke from his sleep, uh -huh. seeing that the prison doors was open, uh -huh. thinking that the prisoners had escaped, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. Yes. Why was he about to kill himself? Because if the it was the jailer's job yes. to make sure that the prisoners did not escape. Mm -hmm. So he, would take, he took them into the uttermost parts of the prison, the dungeon, and had their feet fastened in stocks. Mm -hmm. right. Then he lies down and was soon asleep. Mm -hmm. But when he heard that earthquake, he woke up mm -hmm. and he sees all the prison doors open and he's about to draw his sword, mm -hmm. supposing that Paul and Silas and the prisoners had escaped. Mm -hmm. Because if they had, the jailer would have been put to death. Amen. Paul cries out 
to him saying, do not stuff no harm, right. for we're all here. Yeah. Notice in the scripture it says that Paul and Silas were praying yeah. and singing hymns to the Lord. Yeah. And the prisoners were listening to them, mm -hmm. praying and singing and praising God. Mm -hmm. Could this be that when the doors flew open of the prison, they didn't try to escape? Mm -hmm. Because they had heard praising yes. God hey. and singing Amen. and praying. Amen. <laughs> the Bible said at midnight, mm -hmm. midnight, Paul and Silas was praying mm -hmm. and singing. Yes. Now, you notice it does not say that at midnight, mm -hmm. Paul and Silas started to pray right. and to sing. Amen. But at midnight, mm -hmm. they were praying mm -hmm. and right. singing. Mm -hmm. So I believe that they didn't start praying and singing at midnight, but they were praying and singing even when they were thrown in jail. Amen. Right. Amen. And it was at the midnight hour, yes. Yes. instead of these men were praying mm -hmm. and singing praises to Almighty God. Amen. They took their burdens to the Lord yes, and let Him work it out yes. for them. Yes. Yes. Now this is a valuable lesson for us today, yes, beloved. All right, when we're yes. shut up in one of life's prisons experience, yes. we don't need to be anxious for nothing. But everything by prayer yes. and supplication yes. with yes. thanksgiving. Yes. No matter what situation we're in, let our request be known to God. Because if we would go to God in prayer more, then we would never have to retreat to worrying about everything. Amen. Being in a bad situation, Paul and Silas, I'm sure, were in pain because they had been beaten. Were they scared? The flesh might have been. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. Were they uncomfortable mm -hmm. and miserable? Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. All right. But they still did not allow their situation <laughs> yes. to defeat them. Right. Yeah. They went to God in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, saints of God, I'm just going to say. Mm -hmm. The majority of saints don't like to pray. Mm -hmm. The majority right do not like to pray. Mm -hmm. right. Why are you saying that, Evangelist Ford? I say that because I've watched over the years at Wednesday night prayer meeting. Mm -hmm. right now. Nobody volunteers. Mm -hmm. right. All right. All right now. Nobody All volunteers. Right. All right. The deacon has to call on somebody to pray. All right. If we really love praying, mm -hmm. all of us would be jumping up. Can I pray? Right now. Right. If we really love it. Amen. Can I get a witness Amen. to this? Amen. Amen. And as Paul and Silas prayed before the Lord, I can imagine that the Holy Spirit began to lift their hearts. And soon they were filled with praise and began singing songs. They probably sung Psalms 148. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Let Israel say his loving kindness is everlasting. Or they might have sung Psalms 146. I will praise thee, O Lord, yes. while I live. Yes. I will sing praises to my God yes. with my whole being. Yes. Beloved, one of the ways to overcome your prison experience in life yes. is to learn the secret of praising God yes. in the midst of pain yes. and song. Yes. 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 You know, anybody can praise Him when everything is going good yes. in the life. Yes. But it takes massive faith right. yes. to praise His name when the bottom falls from under Him. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. And if you really want to gauge the depths of your commitment to the Lord yes. and your love for Him, yes. just see how you react when the pressure is on in your life. Yes. Notice how this jailer responded to his own intensive situation. Yes. When Paul tells him, do yourself no harm, we're all here. What does he do? He calls for a light and run down to this dungeon, trembling, no doubt wondering just why Paul and Silas hadn't left this prison. But these were special prisoners 
of God yeah. in jail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He must have known, the jailer must have known that there was something different about them as they were praying and singing to God. Yes. After being beaten half to death mm -hmm. and thrown in a dungeon, mm -hmm. I believe his intense situation prompted him to ask this question that is more important than any question could ever be asked. Mm -hmm. Because as he bring Paul and Silas out of the prison, mm -hmm. he asks, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Yes. Now the jailer didn't just ask any question, mm -hmm. but he asked the most important question right. that anybody could ever ask. Yes. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And the Bible said that Paul and Silas said, together, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Not only you, but your household shall be saved. Then they spoke to the jailer, the Bible says, the word of the Lord, and all who was in the jailer's house. And the jailer took them out at the very same night, washed their wounds, and immediately he and his family were baptized. Yes. He brought them to his house. He set before them a meal. And he rejoiced having believed in God with his whole household. Yes. Now brothers and sisters, look what happened here. Here is a prison guard who asked the perfect question. Yes who I believe was convicted yes. by the Spirit of God yes. to ask this question. Yes. Just to think, the question was asked at just the right place. Yes. The question was asked at just the right time. Yes. And the question was asked to just the right people yes. who were having church service yes. in jail. Amen. Amen. What the Lord can't do it just right. can't be done. Yes. Yes. Here's a sinner man mm -hmm. who was on his way mm -hmm. to a burning hell, yeah. no doubt with his whole household. Yeah. Right. But when he asked that question, yeah. what must I do right. to be saved? Mm -hmm. It's like the Lord told Peter when he asked, who do men say that I am? Yeah. Some said, you're Isaiah. Yes. Yeah. But Peter jumps up and said, you are the Christ the son of the living God. Yes, yes. Just like Peter, yes. when the jailer asked this question, it was not flesh nor blood that revealed this to him, yes. but it could only be the heavenly counsel yes. in heaven. Yes. Because salvation came just at the right time. Yes. Not only to the prison guard, but to his whole household. Yes. Hallelujah, saints of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. What a God we serve. Yes, Folks talking about not being able to go to the church house mm -hmm. like we used to. Yes. And I want to know that Jesus uh, where it says, where two or three yes. gather together in my name, yes. I'm in the middle. Yes. So no matter where you are, in the house, yes. in the yard, yes. in the church house, yes. or in the jail, yes. if you're praying and singing songs yes. of praises yes. to Almighty God yes. with your whole being, yes. honey, the Lord is right there with you. Yes. Can I get a witness Amen. today? The Lord is there. No matter where you are. Yeah. King David said in his Psalms 139, Lord, your knowledge is beyond my comprehension. Where can I go to escape your prison? Where can I flee to escape your presence? If I were to ascend to heaven, you'd be there. If I were to fly away on the ends of the dawn and settle down on the other side of the sea, your hand would guide me and your right hand would grab hold of me. He says, if I were to say to the darkness, cover me and the light turn on to night all around me. He said, Lord, the darkness is not too dark for you to see. And the night and the day is not too bright for you to see. He says, where could I go to escape 
from the Lord. Yes. There is no escape. Yes. Because everywhere you go, yes. God is right there. Yes. He yes. sees what no one else sees. Yes. He hears what no one else sees. Yes. He's present where nobody else is. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, the answer Paul and Silas gave to this jailer might not have been what he was expecting. Mm -hmm. He might have thought he had to do something to earn his salvation. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, there was nothing that he could do right. to earn his salvation nothing. Nothing. except believe on the Lord right. Jesus Christ. Yes. Right. I'm told that one day after a tent meeting was over, mm -hmm. the preacher was pulling up the tent stakes, and a man approached him and said, Preacher! What do I have to do to be saved? Mm -hmm. And the preacher said to him, Sorry, son, it's too late. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, was the response of the man. The preacher had to run and grab him and say, Son, I mean, it's too late because it's already been done. Mm -hmm. Everything that could be done, he said, for your salvation has already been done. Mm -hmm. And I would say today to those listening that don't know Jesus yes. and the pardon of their sin, if yes. you don't know the Lord Jesus yes. today, if you're asking this question, yes. how can I be saved? Yes. Then I would say the work has already been done. When Jesus came into this world, he came to seek and to save the lost. Amen. When he was here on this earth for 33 and a half years, yes. he came to die for the sins of all mankind. Yes. He was nailed at the cross of yes. Calvary yes. where all men's sins were yes. placed on him. Yes. He was crucified yes. and he died for every being, yes. past, yes. present, and future. Yes. And it was after three days in the grave that he rose up Yes, from the garret. Yes, He's alive yes, now, y'all. Yes, He's alive forevermore. Yes, he yes, has arisen. Yes, and right. now he sits on the right hand of the Father, interceding for all yes, who belongs to yes, him yes, and who will be with him forever. Yes, so to have salvation, to have eternal life, you don't need to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Just believe. Yes. Yes. Just believe. Yes. Just believe. Yes. I don't believe in just anybody, but believe in Jesus the Christ, yes. the Son of God, yes. who died and gave his yes. life for yes. everybody yes. in this world. Yes. If you're going to be saved, it's only be going to be by the grace of God. Yes. For the scripture says, for by grace are you saved through faith. Yes. Amen. And that not of yourself. Yes. It's a gift of God. Yes, Lord. Not of works, least yes. anybody yes. should boast. Amen. Yes. There is no way for you to earn salvation. Yes. It's not possible. Uh -huh. If we could earn it, if we could earn yes. our salvation, yes. then Jesus would have had no reason to die for yes. our sins. Yes. Yes. But the Lord makes it perfectly clear in his word yes. that in order to be saved, mm -hmm. we must believe in him. Yes. Yes. One must understand, my brothers and sisters, yes. the context of the word belief. Yes. It's more than just saying, yeah, I believe. Amen. But if you believe in him, mm -hmm. do you love him? Mm -hmm. If you believe in him, mm -hmm. Do you obey him? Yes. If you believe in him, are you living your life each day for him? Yes. Jesus says in John, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that hears my words and believe on him yes. that has sent me has everlasting life yes. and shall not come in condemnation, yes. but is passed from death to life. Mm. This jailer did more than just believe that mm. Christ existed. Mm. He trusted that he was the resurrected son Amen. of God. Amen. He trusted in him as his Lord and his savior. Amen. This is what we all must do. Yeah. If we believe in Jesus, we must trust the finished work that he did on the cross. Yeah. For the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth, yeah. who? the Lord Jesus, yes. and if you believe in your heart yes. that God has raised yes. him, yes. him who? 
Jesus, yeah, Jesus yeah, from yeah, the dead, yeah, then thou yeah, shalt be saved. Yeah, because the Bible said, for with the heart man believe unto yes, righteousness, yes, and with the mouth confession is made yes, unto yes, salvation. Yes. There is no, I might believe. <laughs> there is no, one of these days I'm going to believe. <laughs> yes. Right now. But do you believe yes. that Jesus died yes. and rose for your sin? Yes. Yes. Then you will be saved. Yes. There's nothing that that jailer could do to qualify his salvation nothing. because he was not worthy. Mm. None of us Amen. are worthy. Yes. The only one that's worthy yes. is Jesus the All Christ. Right. The jailer stood by, look what he did. As God's servants were beaten, whipped, mm. bound, mm. and thrown into a dungeon. Yes. But because of God's amazing grace, yes. this jailer qualified yes. for salvation. Yes. Beloved, there is nothing about this jailer, nothing about you, yes. nothing about me yes. that's worthy of God's salvation. Amen. But thanks to his wonderful, wonderful, yes. wonderful Amazing grace. Yes. You can be saved just yes. like the, j the jailer was. Yes. This jailer sees his opportunity when he did. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Mm -hmm. When he did believe, mm -hmm. an amazing transformation took place. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell you today, mm -hmm. that if you're saved, mm -hmm. and if the Holy Spirit lives within you, yes. Yes. there's going to be some changes. Oh, in yes. Oh, yes. You are not going to stay the same that yes. you were. Amen. But a transformation will yes. take place yes. just like it took place with this jailer. Yes. Remember, he was the one who locked Paul and Silas in their cell. Yes. And now what does he do? He brings them out. Mm -hmm. He washed their wounds. Mm -hmm. He takes them home. He sets a meal before them. Right. Look at this amazing transformation yes. Yes. that this jailer has made. Yes. Amazing things happen, saints of God, yes. when you trust Jesus yes. as your Savior. Yes. Jesus can make a difference in yes. anybody's yes. life, yes. just as he did in the life of this Philippian yes. jailer. Yes. Beloved, you have eternal life by placing your faith yes. in Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Trust him yes. to save yeah. Trust him. Yeah. Trust him. Yeah. Trust him, Lord. Yeah. Trust him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. I encourage you. Yeah. Surrender your life to Jesus yeah. today. Yeah. And if you believe in him, then faith in him gives you eternal life. Yes. Yes. Can you see what I see? Mm -hmm. Living with Jesus forever yeah. and ever yeah. and ever yeah. and ever yeah. and ever. Until yeah. next time, yeah. my beloved. Yeah. God bless you and keep you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen.